and E. coli species isolated from patients with gastroenteritis gastro Enteritis. What does it call it in Zambia or TTH? The same in Saka. Because UTH is the referral hospital, for example, and it would just, yeah, you know what I mean? It would take people from anywhere within Saka. When you look at this, we would have actually brought out the the things that we are really interested in, which is the dependent variable, multi-drug resistance, which you could choose to measure as, again, the measuring of the variables is important, right? You would choose to measure it as multi-drug resistant or not resistant, you know what I mean? So that becomes your dichotomous variable there. And then ESBL. You want to say some would have ESBL, others would not, right? So already we are seeing that this is also a, a dichotomous variable. Immediately you are saying all this, you even are knowing that this is how I'm going to write my hypothesis. This is even how I'll compute my sample size because from here I need to know that my sample size should be calculated using a t test based. Sample size equation formula, not a t-test rather, a chi-square based sample size calculation formula, or the Fisher's exact test based sample size calculation formula. Sample size calculation of dichotomous variables. Do you get the sense? It's already speaking to that. Then you have your study population here. Uh, so it's actually those with the with Klebsiella and isolated from patients with gastroenteritis becomes a study population, right? And then in Lusaka, at least this could sound good as your title. Is that okay? So this is what your title would sound like. Is that okay? Now, I, I told you that the title is linked to a number of things. So I just wanted to show you how they are linked rather than coming to discuss them separately. I think for today, allow me to link them the way they are linked so that you see how they will sound. Okay? So from this title, you should be able to come up with the general objective, for example. Is that clear? You should be able to come up with a general objective. So, or the main objective, as you would prefer to call it. So let's say this is your title. What is then going to be your general objective? Guys, these things you really need to be able to effectively bring out. And I want you, when you do your research, these things have to be related as we do it. Is that okay? So, the general objective becomes very straightforward. To determine the correlation between ESPH, you just put in to determine here. It becomes a general objective. Do you see that? Determine you can say the correlation 
or the association or the relationship is the same thing really. Relation between ESBL and multi drug resistance in Klebsiella and E. coli species isolated from patients with GE gastroenteritis in Lusaka. That will be your general objective. So guys, immediately you have your general objective, you can work back and come up with the title. These things are supposed to be related. What about the research question? What would it sound like? It would sound exactly like this. What is the correlation? What is the relationship? Or is there a relationship? Which even sounds better, right? Research question. Oops. Maybe I should write on top there, guys. Can I remove this stuff, guys? Since we've moved from the title, so research question. So the question is Is there a relationship? Relationship should be here. Relationship between ESBL and multi drug resistance in Pepsiella. And E. coli species and it continues isolated from patients with G E in Lusaka. And this ends in a question. That would be what your research question is like. Guys, the title linked to the general objective, linked to the research. The research question. We said it should also be linked to the hypothesis. Right? Hypothesis. <sighs> Guys, is there anyone ready to give it a shot on what the hypothesis would sound like? Let's say you want to say to write your now hypothesis. Um, and I must tell you that, like we said, you only need to write one. You either write the now or the alternative, right? Or which is also called the research hypothesis, right? It should sound exactly like this thing. 
What do you think it would sound like? The now. There is no relationship or there is no correlation. You see what I mean? Do you see how things are actually flowing from there? I think this is something you really need to write even as you are working on. You make sure that these are actually written in that manner. So your now hypothesis is that there is no correlation between ES, BL, and mount drug resistance in Klebsiella species. Klebsiella and E. coli species isolated from Patients with gastroenteritis in Osaka. I can assure you, the way this sounds, it is possible that you can make it even more succinct with some good thinking. It can still speak the same and sound even a lot better. But at the end of the day, this is what it would have to be packaged as. Do you get what This is what your title should look like, or at least have. And then you try to polish it, make a well-polished sentence, well-succinct sentence that you can write with a few words where you remove these, uh, some of these many words that could be there, and then it just sound nice and succinct. But these are the things that are actually going to be contained in the title. Is that okay? Before we close, there's one other thing that I want you to be able to do immediately to make sure that you have aligned with this. There's one third thing that I want you to make sure that you have aligned. So that when you write something like a concept, like a whole summary, you're sending something to your, to your would-be supervisor, you will have sent them something like this, and the supervisor is already knowing that the student has actually done, understood what we are doing. And remember guys, you really need to actually have read around to make sure that this is not replicated for them. Right? We'll come to the section of which training. So let me just tell you that one part that I would want to make sure that you have linked. And it is the part of the variables. Link it to this. That table, you need to write it. Let me just briefly show you what the table will look like before we close. 